I'm going to propose automatic current balancing, multi-phase reconfigurable LLC converter with a wide voltage gain range for onboard battery charger. Here you can see the today's highlights. The proposed converter achieves automatic capacitive current balancing despite component tolerance. Since both the primary and secondary side circuits are reconfigurable, the voltage gain range can be extended. The experimental verification using the 1 kW prototype demonstrated automatic capacitive current balancing and extended voltage gain range. This is outlined in my presentation. Firstly, let me explain the onboard battery charger and the problems of the conventional LLC converters. After that, I'll propose a multi-phase reconfigurable LLC converter and describe the detailed major features. Finally, let me show the experimental results using the 1 kW prototype. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the onboard battery charger. This figure shows a typical battery charger system in electric vehicles. To extend cruising distances, vigorous development on high-capacity lithium-ion batteries has been underway. In general, a voltage of batteries varies in the range of 100 to 420 volts depending on the state of charge. Therefore, onboard battery chargers require isolated DC-DC converters with a large current capacity and wide voltage gain range. The next slide shows the interleaved converters. Interleaved converters, which consist of parallel connected multiple converters, operate out of phase at the same switching frequencies FS. These topologies can enhance current capacities and reduce current ripples of the input and output poles. However, phase currents of parallel connected converters are avoidably imbalanced because of component tolerance, resulting in a current concentration. That's why interleaved converters must require current balancing capability. These figures show three-phase interleaved PWM converter with and without current balancing control. Without current balancing control, phase currents with PWM control are imbalanced due to mismatch gain characteristics among phases. On the other hand, with a PWM and current balancing control, phase currents are balanced by individually adjusting duty cycle D of switches. However, the active current balancing technique needs additional feedback control loops and current sensors for current balance, thus increasing the system complexity and cost. Meanwhile, LLC converters are widely used in isolated applications. In general, the output voltage V out in an ordinary LLC converter is regulated by PFM control because these gain characteristics are dependent on switching frequency FS. To balance phase currents in a multi-phase LLC converters, switching frequency must be individually adjusted. However, multi-phase LLC converters must operate with different switching frequencies and therefore, the interleaving manner cannot be simply applied to multi-phase LLC converters. Additionally, to extend voltage gain range, ordinary LLC converters require a wide switching frequency range. These topologies achieve the phase current balancing and interleaving operation. The converters with the adding components such as the variable inductor and numerous switches can adjust resonant frequencies for current balance. However, these active current balancing techniques eventually need additional feedback control loops and current sensors. Interleaved LLC converters with an automatic current balancing capability has been proposed. Two and three phase interleaved half of which LLC converters can automatically balance phase currents based on the charge conservation load of flying capacitors FCs. However, Similar to ordinary LLC converters, the wide switching frequency rate is necessary to extend the voltage gain range. In addition, much fed whole bridge FB LLC converter with an automatic capacitive current balancing hasn't been proposed yet. Meanwhile, reconfigurable LLC converters has been proposed to extend the voltage gain range. This topology can extend the gain range by reconfiguring FB or half which HB LLC inverter on the primary side circuit. On the other hand, reconfiguring 
who bridge rectifier FVR or Dabra DB on the secondary side of circuit allowed extending the voltage gain range. However, to balance phase current, these reconfigurable topologies eventually needed additional feedback control loops and current sensors. So in this presentation, I'd like to propose the multi-thread reconfigurable LLC converter with an automatic current balancing capability. I'd like to talk about the multi-thread reconfigurable LLC converter. Three-phase topology comprises six switching legs, three LLC resonant tanks, and four FCs. Four FCs are inserted between high and low side switches in phases A and B, respectively. Secondary side switches replace diode in a part of the full wave rectifier. Similar to ordinary LLC converters, V arc is regulated by PFM control. Three phases are driven 180 degree auto phase. In other words, phases A and C synchronize, whereas phase B lags 180 degree. On the primary side circuit, High and low side switches operate in a complementary manner with a D equal 0.5. In the proposed converter, the number of phases can be arbitrarily extended. This figure shows a four-phase topology. Phases A and C synchronize, while phases B and D operate 180-degree out of phase. The current capacities in the proposed converters can be enhanced by extending the number of phases. The next we'll discuss the circuit configurations in the proposed combat. The transformer's primary side circuit operates at either a full bridge or half bridge inverter. All legs in the full bridge inverter are driven. In the half bridge inverter, high and low side switches in the left hand side legs are always off and on respectively, and the right hand side legs are driven. Meanwhile, the secondary side circuit operates at either Dabra or Hullbridge rectifier configuration. Switches are always on in Dabra configuration, while switches are always off in the Hullbridge rectifier configuration. In summary, the primary side and the secondary side circuits are reconfigurable. Therefore, the proposed converter operates in one out of four configurations, which are Hullbridge W, Halfbridge W. Full bridge, full bridge rectifier, and half bridge, full bridge rectifier. Let me explain the major features in the proposed converter. Firstly, the voltage gain range can be extended by properly changing the four configurations. The detailed gain characteristics will be discussed later. Secondly, even if the gain characteristics among phases are mismatched due to the component tolerance, Phase currents are automatically balanced thanks to the charge conservation of FCs. Finally, FCs contribute to reducing the bolt amp stresses of primary side switches. I'll describe the current balance mechanism and bolt amp stresses from the next slide. These figures show the theoretical key waveforms and the current flow direction in the FB configuration. VQA to VQC are the drain source voltages of switches, and IA to IC are the phase currents in the phases A to C respectively. Focusing on the CA1, CA1 is charged by IA and stores QA in the mode 1. At the same time, the currents flowing through the low side switches in the phases A and B are cancelled because of the phase currents. Voltage stress of switches are reduced lower than two sides of VN because FC's voltages are two sides and one side of VN respectively. During the mode 2, CA1 is discharged by IB and releases QB. Similar to mode 1, the current flowing through the low side switches are cancelled, and voltage stresses of switches are reduced lower than two sides of VN thanks to FC's. Next, focusing on the CA2, CA2 is charged by IE and stores QA in the mode 2. CA2 is discharged by IV and releases QB in the mode 1. In summary, due to the charge conservation of two FCs, IE and IV are automatically balanced. Similar to the same balance mechanism, IV and IC are automatically balanced by the charge conservation of two FCs in the phase B. So, all phase currents can be automatically balanced thanks to the four FCs. 
the current stresses of row size switches at zero. And FCs contribute to reducing switches voltage stress lower than two sets of V in. In a HV configuration, all phase currents can be automatically balanced by the charge conservation of FCs. The currents flowing through the row side switches are cancelled, and FCs contribute to reducing switches voltage stress lower than two sets of V in. This slide describes the derivation of the gain characteristics. The proposed converter consists of parallel connected phases, while voltages of resonant tanks among phases are equal in the half-bridge and full-bridge configuration respectively. The proposed converter is converted into this equivalent circuit. By applying the fundamental harmonic approximation, Fourier transform the equivalent circuit can be yielded. Consequently, Voltage gain of half-bridge full-bridge rectifier is yielded as follows by Fourier series. In addition, compared with the gain of half-bridge full-bridge rectifier, those of half-bridge double, full-bridge full-bridge rectifier, and full-bridge double, and double and quadruple respectively. This figure depicts the theoretical gain characteristics in the four configurations under the same load condition. Y axis is gain, and X axis is the normalized frequency. The proposed converter with the V equal 400 volts and V out equal 100 to 420 volts needed to meet the voltage gain range of 0.25 to 1.05. Suppose the proposed converter operates between the FS minimum and FR. To cover such voltage gain range, gains at points B and D must be higher than those at points C and E respectively. So the proposed converter can cover entire necessary gain range of properly changing four configurations and manipulating switching frequency. The next slide compares the three-phase LLC converters with or without the FCs from the viewpoint of the maximum bolt amp stresses of the primary size switches. The sum of maximum bolt amp stresses of switches S is defined as follows. The comparison results are is shown in the center figure. Y axis is S and X axis is the output power. The S of the proposed converter are one side of those of the conventional ones because of the current cancellation and the reduced voltage stresses as described in the current balancing mechanism. So, this implies that the FCs can contribute to reducing volt amp stresses of the primary side switches. Let me introduce the experimental verification. This figure shows the photographs of the 1 kW prototype at V equal 400 volts. In order to verify the automatic capacitive current balancing, key parameters N, RKZ, and RMZ were intentionally mismatched. These figures show the measured phase current waveforms in the full bridge configurations at 700 watts. Charge amounts of flying capacitors in the phases A to C were equal in the both configurations. Average absolute values in the phase currents are illustrated in this figure. Y axis is a phase current, and X axis is the output power. Despite mismatched transformers parameters, phase currents were automatically balanced with errors less than 4% at 100 to 700 volts. These figures show the major phase current waveforms in half bridge configurations at 700 watts. Charge amounts of FCs were equal in both configurations. Average absolute values in the phase currents are illustrated in this figure. Similar to full bridge configurations, phase currents were automatically balanced with errors less than 3%. Finally, I will explain results of the gain characteristics. The four configurations were changed, and switching frequency was manipulated in the range of 90 to 138 kHz. This figure depicts the gain characteristics in four configurations. Y axis is the gain, and X axis is the normalized frequency. Thanks to the reconfigurable circuits, the gain range was extended. In addition, the proposed converter covers the gain range of 0.25 to 1.05 within the 90 to 138 kHz. 
in conclusion, I will propose the much phase reconfigurable LLC converter with automatic current balancing capability. Thanks to the charge conservation of FCs, phase currents can be automatically balanced regardless of circuit configuration. Additionally, because of reconfigurable circuits on the primary and the secondary sides, the proposed converter can extend the voltage gain range. I introduced experimental results using the 1 kW prototype. These results demonstrated extended voltage gain range and automatic capacitive current balancing in both full-bridge and half-bridge configurations. Thank you for your attention.